perfect. Okay, so same thing as last week, right? We tabled, uh, we we're tabling the head. Okay. Okay, table the head. Right, we off of this sequence, right? Now, as we're going here, okay, if he's turning, my forehead stops the momentum. Okay, he's coming up, right? So I try to move this leg out. Come up. Now I'm here. My knee goes to the floor. Just like this, pinch, finish there. Okay, so I keep my lapel grips. I try not to ride so high. I seen a couple guys doing it like this, like too far forward. You can side out the back, okay? So when you transition, make sure you're, uh, you're kind of stopping over him, okay? Here, pinch the knees. Now I'm going here. If he rolls, roll with it. Trap right here. Okay, and then we still have our options that we're doing uh, previous to this sequence, right? I could still run through all of that as well. If I needed to transition, like if I'm losing here, that's one of the reasons why we're, um, we want to trap that foot staying on top of him here, right? In case I lose anything, I just keep my feet. Now I'm transitioning back to what we were doing um, two weeks ago, right? Same sequence, here, here, here. Okay. Once with, once, no, 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 once with, like I can even, uh, well, to be more specific with it, okay, so as I'm in that clock choke, right, a deer is turning, so I'm going to stop, hold on, I'm going to stop him once, finish, okay, so he's coming here, I stop, I pinch my knees, I finish here. Then I can go here, grab the knee, pinch, and finish here as well. I don't need to necessarily turn like Cruz was saying. Okay, do I turn or do I stay? I can actually stay. The reason why I do this, I pull to keep him from running anywhere. Okay, now if he rolls, if he manages to roll, then I'm looking to trap that arm right away into that um, bow and arrow, right? Now once I'm in that bow and arrow, make sure you guys are not doing this too much, so let him try to slide. I'm going to come here this way to try to put my forearm behind the back of his head, right? Here. Now, if I lose anything, his head pops out, whatever, then I just keep my legs, and then I transition back to what we originally started with a couple weeks back here. Okay, work ourselves back to... So remember, all of these, even the arm bar, it's about pinching the knees together here, and then a small little... Same thing here. It's about the knees, not necessarily the torque here, right? You see how his arm's really rubbery? If I can't lock that Kimura, right? I can just squeeze the knees here, and then look, he's tapping faster, right? So remember, just like our triangle, we're pinching the knees here, not like this, okay? You guys got it? Okay, All right. Can you do it one more time? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So off of our last sequence that we were doing, Okay, we're on the, on the zipper, knee goes up, I slide him here. Now he turns turtle, I kind of back him here, slide my knee up, pinch my knees, one, grab the knee, pull up, two, he rolls, looking at trap, three, right? If I need to continue, I reverse back here, back to our old sequence here, right? Pull the shin, okay, push down as I'm scooting back, Lock in here, finish, 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 right? All right? So you see how all the sequences we've done the last three weeks, everything's going back. It's all kind of connecting now, right? All right, let's go. Ready? One, two, three.